everyone, my name is Jordan Hammonds. I'm the owner of Tablespoon Cooking Company. We're located at Finley Market and we teach hands-on cooking classes that are taught by professional chefs. We are doing virtual classes right now. One of those is pizza. We also have uh, all sorts of topics like steak date night, we did biscuits and scones, and we have so many more to come. But today I'm just gonna do a quick demo and show you how you can make a really great pizza at home. Tablespoon is all about getting people to cook great food at home and having a lot of fun while doing it. And uh, I think this is an awesome recipe you can start cooking at home right away. So we're doing our pizza today in a cast iron skillet. It's gonna, I just made this one. Uh, it's kind of hard not to eat it, but I wanted to have, you know, a little uh, shot for the video. But so all you need is you're gonna need pizza dough. This is one I just made a little bit ago, but you could also just use your favorite store-bought pizza dough. You need about 12 ounces. I like to go to my local pizzeria and ask them to buy some of their fresh dough because I think that gives you just like a great product, better than anything you could get, um, you know, packaged at the store, but whatever you have will work. I've got some pizza sauce. So this is just like a quick marinara that I made. It's crushed tomato, olive oil, salt, a little bit of red pepper flake, uh, a little bit of pepper but you could use your favorite canned tomato sauce as well. All right, we've got some low moisture mozzarella cheese and we've got some pepperoni. So now it is time to start building this pizza and you'll notice I have a cast iron skillet here. So we are gonna bake this pizza in the cast iron skillet. And the reason that that works really well is because cast iron skillets hold heat very, very, very well and conduct heat. So we're gonna be able to get a really high heat in this that's gonna crisp the bottom of our crust to give us a really, really delicious crust. Then we're gonna finish it in the oven and that's gonna kind of bake the pizza. Um, it's gonna be baking kind of from the inside, from the outside in and from the top down and the bottom up. So it's just gonna give us a great result. All right, so my cast iron skillet is heating up right now. I have this over like a medium high heat Nothing is in my pan, I'm just getting my skillet nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil in there. You don't need much. And just kind of swirl it around. And this is just gonna help flavor the bottom of the crust and crisp it, and just prevent it from sticking to the bottom. Okay, now I have my pizza dough kind of in a nice round. We can adjust it once it gets in. And we are just going to place it in the pan. And you can kind of now start using your fingers to make a little edge. If you like a nice crust, now would be the time to kind of shape it and make that happen. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right, I like to do just a little bit of salt right there on my crust, and then we're gonna start adding our sauce. So just spoon it in. We're just gonna make sure it is nice and even around the bottom. Now this is starting to cook a little bit, and my crust on the very, very bottom should be starting to just get a little bit brown can kind of check it every so often. Okay, do just a little bit more sauce right here. Again, do it to your preferences. Now we are going to start topping this. So we have our low moisture shredded mozzarella. I'm gonna do a pretty heavy hand with that and just put it all the way around. You could put your toppings under the cheese if you wanted. If you have anything that burns easily, it's a good idea to put it um, on under the cheese so the cheese kind of protects it. And then we can start building this. I just had a little air bubble there. There we go. We can start building this and with any toppings. So I didn't have too much in the house today and I am pretty simple when it comes to pizza. So I'm just doing like pepperoni but I love pineapple, I love jalapenos, um, but really, you know, the sky's the limit, it's pizza. We're all pretty familiar with it. All right, and then I like to just finish it with a little bit more olive oil. 
So this is just a nice extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna just drizzle very carefully and slowly a little bit on top. And then I like to kind of go around my crust just to make sure that crust is gonna get a beautiful golden brown. Now, very carefully, this can go in the oven. You wanna be careful because this pan is starting to get hot and I'm just gonna check it. I can tell that it's starting to already cook underneath. I don't know if you're gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to quite show you without maybe hurting my pizza, but we're gonna put this in the oven and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a minute or in, when we take it out. My oven is at 475. Uh, so a hot oven and it's probably going to take about like 10 to 15 minutes. What we're going to look for is the crust to be a really beautiful golden brown and we want the cheese to be melted and bubbly. Okay, so I'm going to put this in and then in about 10 minutes we'll be back to show you what it's going to look like. Okay, this has been in for about 15 minutes or so. I'm getting ready to check it. It smells great. And all right, we see the cheese is bubbling and it is a very nice golden brown. So I'm gonna take it out. I think it is ready. And then we can finish it. So something I like to do to check to make sure it's cooked all the way through, I like to use like a fish spatula. And you want to very carefully do this so that you don't burn yourself. But you can just kind of lift it up and check your bottom crust to make sure it's really nice and golden brown. Just be careful because the pan is very hot, so you don't want to forget and kind of grab it. I like to leave a towel on the handle like this. Um, and then I'm just going to go around and kind of loosen it. Beautiful. I'm going to need a plate. board or on a plate. I'm not going to cut mine right now, but I just want to show you kind of how to lift it out. Again, very careful doing this, but it should be, there we go. Beautiful. And then I am going to finish mine. I like to do a little bit more salt just for the top. You can do a little olive oil if you want. I'm going to do some uh, crushed red pepper flake just for a little bit of heat. Um, honey is a nice option. You could do herbs at this point, maybe basil, something like that, um, or maybe some more grated Parmesan. Um, but this is our cast iron skillet pizza. So again, really quick and easy. It's especially quick if you already have the dough and the sauce made or purchased. Uh, and it's just a lot of fun to do at home. And everyone can kind of have their own personal pizzas. They bake quickly and they're delicious. So again, my name is Jordan Hammonds. I'm from Tablespoon. We do hands-on cooking classes. Right now, they are virtual, and we would love to see you for a virtual class. You can find those online at tablespooncookingco.com or on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you. For more than 160 years, Fifth Third Bank has been a champion of dreams. It's the dreams of those who work hard for a better tomorrow that drive us. As we've always done, we're here to support our customers, their families, their businesses, and our communities. We're La Rosa's. For over 65 years, we've been making our delicious family recipes for you and your family. Whether you prefer the classics or lean to something new and uniquely La Rosa's, with our menu of over 40 tasty selections, it's easy to find your next family-pleasing meal. Whether you pick it up or we deliver it to you, we're here where and when you need us. And whatever you choose, remember, there's something delicious for everyone at La Rosa's Family Pizzeria.